Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas on Water Fishing. And today I uh, I do an open invite for my Patreons. We're going to take the kayaks out and uh, we're going to try to hook up to some reds. I'm going to a spot where I haven't fished like in, in quite a few years. Um, talking to one of my other Patreons. He told me that, you know, this is a very good fall spot. And a very good location to fish when the water is uh, a little above normal tide level. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's not fall. And the water level is a little lower. <laughs> but and nevertheless, I did pick this spot and uh, I did throw an open invite. So we're going to take the kayaks out and we're going to be targeting some redfish. Um, knowing that uh, today might be a little bit of a struggle of a bite, I'm going to start the day with, with Tandem Gulp. I'm going to start today with Tandem Gulp and uh, hope that I can entice some of those reds back there in that lower warm water. And hopefully we can find them and get on them. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. And uh, if you want to be a patron, then in the video, in this video description section, or well, actually in all the video description section, there is a link that you can uh, hit over to Texas All Water Fishing Patreon page, and you can join today. But uh, fingers crossed, wish me luck. I'm going to get all my stuff loaded up and uh, head out. My GoPro Ugh. got a fish to bite right here. Feels like a flounder, maybe a red. It's kind of holding down a little bit. Let's see. Oh, neither one. Oh my gosh, where did you come from? There's a little black drum. <clears throat> Let me get out the out of the hole. It was a red, it was a flounder, it ended up being a drum. <laughs> long as it wasn't a hardhead, you know? Yeah. Golly. At least I felt that the tug. Little guy, right on the right on a gope. It's on a gope tandem right here. Little guy. Oh, got that fish out of the way. Yeah, right. Skunk out of the boat. There we go. Something was missing with that bait. Small fish. Oh! Slot trout. See, I knew they were here somewhere. Whoo! It's a nice trout. Nice guy right there. He might keep. Seen some bait getting disturbed, so kind of just cast on him a little bit. Oh. 16. Normally it's blue, lady. 16 inch. See, like that. Like, 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 like that. Yeah, see that little cut right there? Yeah. Yep. I cast because I saw that, so I cast in it, and then it moved over here to this point, and then I cast at the point, and that's when I got him. Are you keeping fish? Feeding him. He's, he's 16 inch. You want him? Yeah, I'll keep him. Okay. Just seeing a ton, a ton of bait in the water. There's not a, uh, not seeing a whole lot of fish activity as far as predator fish go. Pretty shallow, real shallow right now. Uh, we do have an incoming tide, uh, but it's not gonna last. Uh, it'll probably be incoming for like the next hour, hour and a half. 
it's not going to make that big of a difference as far as far as, as far as how deep we how deep we are right now and we're going to be at high tide it's a little bit of a pinch area right here where it connects one lake to another and i'm gonna head over there and hopefully try to catch some reds that are cruising um a couple of the kayakers out here and i'm not seeing them hook up either so just kind of scanning the horizon and, and watching the grass line and trying to see if i see something other than mullet that is just uh jumping and popping we're going to come up here and i'm still tossing a can of tan of gulp come up here and roll this way and see if we can uh see if we can pull a bread off over here hopefully it's a little deeper right here if i remember right it, it is just a little deeper sometimes that's all you need is a couple feet oh depth in water uh, change depth wise in water yeah, it just got a little deeper for me using my fins. I fully extend my fins now. So hopefully there's a red line over here. Oh, that felt like a bump. Somebody small, but just nevertheless still was a bump. Hopefully there's a red line in weight over here. Ah, another speck. Whoo! Speck of trout. Yeah, it's about maybe maybe 17. Just hit it on the fall, just letting it fall. And he hit it and brought it straight to me. Yeah, he might be closer to 16. He's, oh my gosh, you ate it, bro. Why'd you do that? Oh, man. I'm not getting that back. What a jerk. Dang it. What'd you eat it for? I'm greedy. <laughs> he gulped the gulp down. Let's see what he measures. I'm going to have to do surgery on this guy. Get this guy off. Yeah, we weren't having too much luck over in the back of the marsh. So we came back over here. A little water break right here. And a little, a little deeper. So they're getting a little warmer. I thought maybe we'll come over here and catch a flounder or, or a speck. And, and did just that. Hooked into a speckler. Been seeing reds in the back. But they're just not um back in the, back in the marsh. But they're just not been cooperating. So... Just decided to come over here and try our luck, and he is, yep, 16 inches. That's the second 16 inch for the day. Gonna get this guy off, and then uh, patron with me today, and he's gonna harvest him, so he already has one. But you can see he just chomped that thing down. Flounder, I think. Put it right on his head. Oh, yeah. There we go. Got a flatty. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Ugh. He might not keep, but I'm glad to have him. He's thick. He might be short. 
Whew. Just felt that bump. So I had to set that hook, but now he's thick. He's a nice little thick guy. Thick little shoulders on him. And again, that darker, the darker gulp, that swim shatter. It's a, it's a shad. <clears throat> kind of what they've been feeding on. There's a lot of mullet out here too, but they really like that shad. <clears throat> Let's get it measured up. Oh. Shh, stop. Be nice. Goodness. Oh, he's right at 15. 15 and a quarter. <sighs> so it kind of runs down and dips down right here. And a lot of times on the ledge is where you will find the um, predator fish just right on the drop off. Offers just enough structure for the uh, bait fish that the predator fish are, are kind of hanging out and, and laying in wait. And that's kind of where I got, I had that trout and that both the trout and the flounder just right on at the drop off. So um, whenever you do run across a drop off, it's always great to kind of fish that area, target area, fan cast a little bit. Just really just blind casting and uh, hope that across a, a fish's path. Oh! <sighs> I lost it trying to turn my camera on. Looked like a little, looked like some little, a little red moved in here. Looked like it. Something's chasing all this little bait around. Could be that gar, but I just threw right on it and there he goes, another one. Oh, that's a flounder. All of a sudden, all this bait started moving over here. Oh yeah, that's a, it's about 18 maybe. Oh yeah? Yeah. All the bait started moving over here, so I just started tossing at it. <clears throat> maybe you need to get over here. Trade your spots. Golly. All I was doing was straight retrieving it, fishing for a red. Let me get out the way and tend to him. But all this little bait, all the bait started moving, so I just started casting. This guy here. Mm. Oh, golly. Oh, come on. Stop. You're gonna scare everything. Stop. Stupid. Calm down. They will pop the shit out of the Look at that guy. That's a nice one. All right, let's get this guy. Just straight retrieving him. Really thought it really going for red. <clears throat> oh, 17 and a, oh, nope, closed mouth. Just under 17, just missed him. Nice big one. I'll hand him off to you. There we go. Whew. Got a lot of room in this one. 13, huh? That's what I'm talking Golly. That's yeah, a moon. That That's a man's kayak right there. That's it. <laughs> That's why it looks so small. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Hey, you want to try one of these lures? I guess. Shit. Take that white one off and put this one on. All right. Get out of the world. It's on now. It just threw it right on a red's head. Oh, oh, oh. Still right on his head. Oh, oh. Uh. See if I can get him. Oh, ah. come on. Just blind cast and throw it right on his head. I like that. Let's see if I can get him. I keep him from going underneath me. I know we've seen them, but they didn't want to. They didn't want to cooperate today. Probably about 22, maybe. Oh, 
Oh, I broke off. Really? Yep. Red? Yep, I broke off. Dang it. My line's frayed up. I can feel my line frayed up. Probably from when I had those ladyfish earlier. Dang it. That was my Texas slam. Yeah. It's all frayed up. I can feel it all the way down here. Either that or he did it. Oh, man. All right, everybody. So that is going to be it. That is a wrap. You know what? We ran it. I ran to the reds again. Ran to the reds again in the marsh, in the marsh. And uh, they weren't cooperating. I did hook up to that one and he broke off. Um, yeah, I'm throwing that leader line away. I bought a 20 pound leader line and this is um, the second red that broke off on me. Uh, the first time, yeah, the drag was set a little too tight. This time the drag was probably should have been fine. Um, not too sure what's going on with that leader line, but it is going in the El Trasho. It was in Yozuri. I think it's, I think it was Cigar. Not Cigar, but Cigar. I think that's what it was. Anyway, I gotta look at my tackle box. But hey, um, I threw an open invite. Today was an open invite for my Patreons. I did have one show up. My man Jack, he drove like two and a half hours, three, three and a half hours? three and a half hours to fish with yours truly and uh you know we had a really good time i i love fishing with subscribers viewers patrons whatever you want to call them i love fishing with you guys um I'm always fun to, to fish and, and meet new people and, and talk and share stories i i get a big kick out of it i i, I really love it but you know i ended up with two slot trout two slot flounder and everything was caught on the go. I, I threw a couple other lures, but they didn't have any action. I didn't get get anything. You know, we went into the marsh and just a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of bait, ton of mullet, ton of stuff in that marsh. Yeah, I saw the reds. Even saw little reds like bellying around and slapping the water surface and chasing stuff a little bit, but just no takers. You know, they just being uncooperative. Uh, a couple other guys out there, they, they caught a few, but they were like, yeah, we just caught the ones we were blind casting. Everything that we're casting on is just not biting. So we fished for a little while. We fished for a while today, probably around six hours maybe. And uh, yeah, caught, some, caught a few fish, had some fun, enjoyed myself. It is hot. I am digging my new truck. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this, baby. This is my... Jeep Gladiator, my Rubicon Jeep Gladiator. I am, I, I am feeling so spoiled in this brand new truck. Smells like a new vehicle. Oh, I love it. Don't worry, we'll be having to smell like fish pretty soon and sweaty man, salty sweat pretty soon. Probably what it smells like in here right now. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, all that stuff helps the channel out tremendously i appreciate each and every one of you don't forget in the description section is some links so if you case you're wondering what did i fish with what did i use what is your timu link ruben where'd you get those sunglasses ruben all that stuff it's it's, it's down below description section of the video click on it bye